having us. You guys, uh, actually, we know some people here, don't we? Um, you guys have the right idea. The name of our fitness center is Trillium, and I don't know if anyone knows what a Trillium is. It's a wildflower that grows here, pretty prevalent in the Northeast. It's some people that called it the Mayflower back in the day, some people called it Stinky Flower. It's got three petals, and the reason why this is appropriate for you is at Trillium, we're 13 years old, we believe that you can't be well, can't be healthy, unless you get it body, mind, and spirit, right? Mm -hmm. We knew that as a family. Uh, it's now 11 years ago that my 65-year-old mom went to be with the Lord. She was um, a very energetic, young 65-year-old. She's my mother, and she's actually my baby sister's mother, uh, mother as well. Barbara and I are sisters. We opened this as a result of her journey with cancer. At the age of 60, she, she had five daughters. At the age of 60, we all went to the doctors because she was having hip pain. We were kind of nervous because she had breast cancer when she was 50 years old. As I said, she was 60. We got into the doctor's office, all five girls. I don't know how many of you have families that travel in a pack, but we're one of those kind of families. We did everything together. Of course, my dad was with us as well. And this doctor had become a friend. It had been 10 years since she had breast cancer. And he said, I have good news and bad news. And it sounds like a joke, but that's really what he said. And he said, the good news is your breast cancer hasn't returned. And that's great because recurring breast cancer is pretty awful from what I understand. He said, but you do have renal cell carcinoma, which is kidney cancer. And the unfortunate news about that is I have no treatment to offer you. It is such an awful cancer that chemotherapy, radiation, when they try it on kidney cancers, it like bounces right off. It's like that evil. And we have no treatments for you. Some people, the other bad news is it's stage four. So she was 60. My mom lived five years with stage four kidney cancer, mainly because of her spirit and her strength and her prayer life. So that's the first bit of good news. We can do a lot through prayer, and you guys know that because that's why you're here. Um, but he said it's a slow growing cancer so although you're stage four you know it's a slow growing cancer and i said well what about some of these other things i hear about in the world like you know and the doctor said do whatever you can so my brand new husband and i started traveling the country long story short fast forward a couple of years we learned a lot about our human body and how fearfully and wonderfully made. Anybody know what psalm that is, where the Lord says we are fearfully and wonderfully made? And he made us so perfectly that if we give our bodies the right thing, they can heal. They can do a lot to, to fight cancer, to even conquer cancer. When we went through this with my mom, we went to all these clinics all around the country and even out of the country, and my another sister, not Barb, we enrolled ourselves as patients in cancer clinics, even though we didn't have cancer, to understand what these different methodologies did. And what we walked away with, my husband said, we have to open a place where we teach people how our bodies work, how we can prevent disease. Because once you get cancer, although I believe with a strong spirit, a strong mind, and a lot of really dedicated commitment, you can reverse it depending on the cancer. It's very difficult, but if we could teach people how to prevent it, what a great thing that would be. That's what we set out to do, Barb and I, at Trillium 13 years ago. She actually lived in Saratoga, had a great job. This was her field. She was a fitness professional. She had gone to college for this. Me, on the other hand, I was an accountant. I was a CPA. I didn't know anything about this. What I learned is I was destroying my body with what I did every day. Go to work at 6 o'clock in the morning, what did I drink? Coffee all day long until about 2 o'clock, and then I switched to diet soda. And if I had time, I had lunch. I mean, it was bad, but I learned different ways. And 
I called Barb and said, this is what we're going to do. Three months into her consulting with me, she said, I'm quitting my job. I'm doing this with you. That was 13 years ago. Seven years ago, we started the program that we're talking about today. One of the reasons we did is that we were becoming another fitness center, and that's not what our heart was about. Our heart was about teaching and educating people and learning, helping them learn how to really change their lives and change what they were doing. So Barb and I sat alone in my house one day and said, I said, Barb, what would you do if you could do anything? Because what we set out to do with mom's disease didn't happen. She said, you know that show where they have all those people and they really impact their lives? And I said, why can't we do it? So our show is kind of like that show on The Biggest Loser. We work in a group environment and we work on changing people's lives. We do a lot with education. We have registered dietitians. So we created a whole program and that's what we do. A month ago, in September, we had 170, 170 people doing our program. We run it four times a year and different winter, spring, summer, fall, and you, it's 90 days, and in 90 days we feel like we teach you everything you need to know to go away from here and move forward. So why am I here with Will? So, on the east side of town in uh, DeWitt, where we are located on Bridge Street in East Syracuse, we max out, like I said, we had 170 people. We really close out at 165, but when people come and beg us, please let us in, we kind of, Barb always finds a way to squeeze a few more. So I live around on the west side of town, and so I drive around by Pine Grove all the time. And I knew of Will, and I knew of his family, and I have heard how, what great people they are. And I said, they would fit with us. And I walked in one Friday afternoon and I said, you know, to the people at the front desk, is the owner here? And they said, yeah, Will's here. I said, Will, a friend? He said, Will's here. And I said, hi, Will, I'm Renee. <laughs> and uh, we sat down and talked and he said, I would love to bring that here. I would love to have this on the west side of town and be able to offer this in my facility. And we've kind of partnered mostly for the good of the cause. I mean, it's the same in Will's heart. He's got a big fitness center that's been there a long time. Yeah, 30 years probably. 30 <laughs> years back when his parents started it as a tennis and you know golf club and brought in fitness and there's nothing more rewarding when you're in this business than to have people get results and have their lives changed and <clears throat> Will knows as I do, and he's making a lot of changes over there because we know, kind of, this is like a little secret that even though we're gym owners, gym memberships don't work. How many like think that that's true? Gym memberships don't work. <laughs> so we don't do gym memberships. This is a 90-day program. You don't have to join a gym. You just do 90 days, and then you decide where you, you know, what you want to do from there. We teach you all kinds of things without equipment. You know, you don't need equipment. Like I heard you saying, and there's all kinds of exercises. Breathing is so important. Walking is so important. We actually have these little devices that measure your calories, and what was so cool for me was to learn that if I ran three miles or I walked three miles, I burned the same amount of calories. Why would I run? Why would people in our age group want to pound our bodies with that running? It just shoots our joints, right? The reason why young people run is they don't have any time. So they can get three miles a lot quicker than they can walk three miles. But we have time. We can do that. Or we can make time if that's our priority. So we're here to share with you information about that. We're here to share, you know, Barb is the expert. She's the one. And you remember, I'm the accountant. I'm the one that sits in the back room and goes, okay, we got to pay the rent again. How are we doing, Barb? And she's the one that really works with the people because that's been her business her whole life since she was a little baby. I know she looked, she is the baby. I always say, we won't say where I am. I'm just not the oldest. There's five of us. I'm not the oldest. She does it behind my back all the time, I'm telling you. Um, but that's a little intro to who we are, how we got here, what we do. Wonderful. And you're going to introduce your sister, 
I would love to. I would love to. Give us one second.